What's up, I am Rizzi Zyke Paws, and today I'm gonna to teach you and go over the Tailwind Google Chrome extension. If you wanna get it, first thing you're gonna to have to do is get a Tailwind account. Once you get a Tailwind account, right now I'm in my Tailwind dashboard, you wanna to go to your, you wanna to go to the Google Chrome store and just type in Tailwind, and it's the first extension that pops up. I already have it added, as you can see, it's this little Tailwind icon over here. So I don't have to add it again, but once you add it, it'll connect with your Tailwind account and you're set to go. If you want to learn more about Tailwind and all its functionality and all its features, please visit the link below. I have a complete detailed guide about it. You can check that out and I'm going to show you how to use it, okay, for uh, optimal blog traffic. Okay, so let's, let's, let's use this bad boy. Now there's two ways to use a Tailwind extension. You can do it on a post right so let's say I'm on this post of mine here or some other some other person's post and all I gotta do is click the image here and it will strip the post of all the of all the images that have to do with the with the post right and I want let's say for example I want to uh, put this into my Tailwind scheduler hit go schedule just like that so I, you saw me hit the icon you hit me uh, you saw me hit the Go schedule. Now I gotta do is type in the boards you want to share it in. Okay, you can do it. You can do it individually, or you can do it to uh, many groups uh, at once by using your group list. Okay, I want to do that. I'm gonna put this into my group list like that. And then, if you if you have it attached to your Twitter, you can do that as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, send that out to Twitter and add to my queue, my uh, Tailwind queue. It's that simple. Okay. That's what you do when you're on someone's post or your own post and you want to share content. Then Tailwind will give you more suggestions and you can freely add them to the to the boards you want to. Okay, just like that. Very simple stuff. All this will be automatically pinned to your uh, Pinterest account in due time. You do have a schedule with Pinterest, okay? So let's say you want to go to Pinterest itself and let's say there's a bunch of uh, pins you want to um, add to your Tailwind. Well, it's very simple. Again, you hit that magic icon at the top here. Boom. And it's going to start adding these different images and just pin the images you want. Really important idea though, you want to look through these different pins and make sure that they're quality, right? You want to make sure they have a domain. You see that? You see where my mouse is? A domain and a description domain description so I'm gonna add this one make sure it's it's market related it's related to your market if you're in the dog care market make sure it's dog care related right um, okay this one has nothing to do with me this one does in this account I'm all about internet marketing so this makes perfect sense this one makes sense but I gotta make sure oh no description then this is not gonna be accepted this one most definitely make sure yes like that this one, of course, Etsy, yes. The bald eagle, nothing to do with me. Audit uh, your content, very good, this is gonna work. This one isn't, because the description is non-existent, almost. Okay, let me see what else. This one's good, this one's good, okay. And let's say you're done for now, go, you just go to hit go schedule. Once you hit go schedule, it's gonna bring those pins up again, and again, you can add them to individual um, boards or add them to several boards within a specific niche. Okay, so I'm gonna add them. I'm gonna add them all to. They all have to do to one way or another to affiliate marketing, and they all have to do with, uh, in, in one sense or another, to home business. So I'm going to click those two. If I wanted to, I could add them to an entire group, group list. That's eight different boards for for this example, but I'm not going to. And now I'm going to click schedule all. Okay. There's one more important step here. Now, of course, like I like like before, tell one is going to suggest more pins for my account. I'm going to skip that this time. I don't have to add anymore. I'm going to go to my Tailwind account. Really important step here. I'm going to click drafts again. Okay. And it's going to refresh everything. Now the pins I added, the pins you saw me add, they should be towards the bottom of my schedule here. Okay, they will be all at the bottom, all collected up 
in, in, in one big group. And you don't want that. You want them to be uh, dispersed throughout your schedule here. So what you want to do, really important, I'm not going to go because I have a lot of, I have a lot of uh, pins scheduled. So it's going to take a while to get to them, the ones we just pinned to the tell one. So what you want to do always is schedule or shuffle, shuffle the queue. Okay, it's going to automatically shuffle your your uh, Pinterest pins so that they're not all clumped up. You know, you don't want the same pin being scheduled consecutively. You want it, you want it, like I said, to be dispersed uh, among all your other Pinterest pins. Okay, I'm going to do it again just for, it's my habit. I like to do it more than once, but, you know, once is enough, I guess. And that's it. You're done. That's how you use a Chrome the Tailwind app Chrome extension, very powerful tool. Who's this person? Okay, so I hope you liked this little video tutorial guide and make sure if you want more information on Tailwind and how to use it properly to get nice blog traffic. These are some of my blog stats right now. Let me show you right quick. You know, make sure you, you check out the link below. And you know, uh, if you get it, if you get Tailwind through my link, it, I wanna let you know it is an affiliate link. But um, yeah, I'll give you all the advice you need. And you can also join me in my Tailwind tribe. So yesterday I had over a thousand views. Today, today's brand new day. So it's 181. Yesterday was Christmas. So if I didn't say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Anyway, anyway, subscribe, uh, write your questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Take care and happy holidays.